Hello everybody, Rick Hinder here, Rick Hinder Knives, on a Sunday morning, frigid Sunday morning here in uh, Northeast Ohio. Um, I'm uh, down at my range at the ranch, and uh, when I got up this morning, it was uh, six degrees. And uh, right now, it's about a balmy 10. So it's warmed up a little bit. And um, this is uh, being a Sunday, obviously, it's a Sunday gun day. And when I got up this morning, you know, I was going to do what I usually do, uh, you know, take some studio pictures of one of the guns with one of my knives. And, um, and that's what I was going to do this morning because it was so darn cold. And I came out and uh, walked, the, walked the beagles, uh, the, the uh, ranch beagles this morning. And I was thinking, you know, because I... Uh, Today's, today's gun that I wanted to highlight, as you see behind me, is the uh, Nemo Arms uh, Model Executive Order. It's in 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, really nice gun, top of the, really top of the line. Beautiful gun. Uh, carbon fiber barrel, um, done up in a gray uh, finish, which is my, one of my favorites. And beautiful gun to take a picture of, especially in the studio where it's nice and warm. I started thinking, you know, it's a beautiful gun, but does it shoot? Does it shoot in this frigid temperature? Especially with the uh, the Griffin Industries sleeve for the for the suppressor. How does that do when it's really cold? Will it uh, prevent the heat from from uh, making a mirage? You know, we never know that if we're in a studio, do we? It's the same with my knives. Now, don't get me wrong, I love really nice studio pictures as much as the next guy. And I love taking them. Coming up with really cool themes, being able to get the lighting just right, get the, get the focus, and be nice and warm. But how do I know how that knife's gonna perform when you're out here? And that's what I make and design my knives for. Just I, I'm sure, that the folks at Nemo Arms design their guns, their rifles, to perform in the most adverse conditions. Now, I wouldn't say standing here in Wayne County, Ohio, on a range with nothing but some steel down there that I'm going to be shooting is extreme conditions. We'll leave that to our brave men and women over fighting for our country overseas in real frigid condition in different conditions. But this is a good test. And so I'm out of the studio and I'm going to uh, also do some training because after all, training in this is, not only is it fun, but it's something you must do. The knife for today is going to be the XM24 Skinny. And, uh, I uh, just released these here a couple a couple weeks ago, a couple three weeks ago. Haven't had time to really go over some of the uh, uh, the attributes of this design. Obviously, the 24. A lot of you know uh, it's a larger version, a four-inch version of my XM18. And uh, this one, I uh, I thinned it down uh, a little bit thinner blade than a regular XM24. Same thickness as the XM18, actually. And uh, I thought, what a great, good knife to uh, come out here and use, uh, again, in these kind of conditions. It's great because, obviously, we're wearing gloves. How does the knife perform when you're wearing gloves? When you're in a nice, warm, your warm house, sitting there flipping it open, uh, and that's great. Nothing wrong with that, but how about out here? when you got heavy gloves on and such. And, I, and a little bit later in the video, uh, I'm going to demonstrate a few things that I think are attributes on this knife when you're out here in these conditions. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to lay down here and see if I can uh, dial this uh, Nemo arms in and I'll be with you in a minute.
with the quality of the Nemo, that's what I expect. Lori's on the gun now because as every husband and wife team should do, we train together. So she's going to take a couple shots with the Nemo as well. And again, the quality of the Nemo, three shots, three hits. Okay guys, let's talk about, while I'm out here in, uh, in this frigid air, all bundled up, let's talk about some of the design uh, attributes uh, that I feel are very advantageous uh, in these kind of conditions of the XM24 Skinny. And, which pretty much is the same for the XM24, the regular XM24, obviously. So. When you're out here, whether it's camping, backpacking, canoeing, and it's uh, it's pretty cold, obviously you're going to be bundled up, and that makes uh, handling things like knives a whole lot more difficult. And I feel some of the design attributes of my XM24 are perfect for conditions like this. So as I open the knife again, we have the slicer type blade. One of the, obviously you can see, again it's about 10 degrees out, obviously you can see that uh, you're going to be wearing thick gloves. Now when I was on the fire department, I learned an awful lot about knife handle design by, obviously we wear heavy turnout gloves when we're on, when, uh, we're on calls, especially accidents. And, um, and I found that a lot of things that I could do with a... With, with, no, with no gloves on, all of a sudden became really difficult to do once I put heavy gloves on. And these gloves, uh, while they are pretty heavy, they aren't near as heavy as turnout gloves, as a lot of you, uh, my uh, brother firefighters, would know. So, so a lot of things come in mind when you think about that. Number one, so if you're out here, if I was in a, uh, uh, obviously I'm down in, in the woods uh, at my uh, ranch, and... I don't have to fix a fire right now or build a fire, but however, if, if, if I was out on a backpacking trip and you're gathering some wood, uh, especially with this snow, a lot of your kindling may end up being wet. So, uh, so if you find, you know, find sticks that you want to uh, shave off some, uh, some wood for kindling and dry out, obviously your knife is going to be what you're going to use to shave off a lot of, and get that, get that wet later off of your kindling. Now, this is this is what, obviously, it has a flipper. And, of course, we like opening our knives with the flipper and it's really cool and, and uh, but however, this is where when I first designed the XM18 with the flipper, one of my main goals was as a finger guard. And when you have heavy gloves on, that really comes into play because of the fact that you don't have as much dexterity on the knife and there's always a lot more and especially if your fingers are cold 10 degrees yeah you're out here for quite a while your fingers are going to get cold maybe even a little bit numb and you may not be able to feel as you're doing heavy work with this knife you may not be able to feel your finger actually sliding up onto the blade so the flipper becomes a very important part of the design as a finger guard so, and that's something that I really want to emphasize with a lot of the uh, uh, videos that I'm going to be doing explaining my designs that the flipper, it's, it's great when, uh, you know, when we can be able to flip the blades open. Um, I think it's cool too. However, when you get out here and, uh, and you start using these knives as tools as they were designed, as I designed them, then you start seeing a lot of the attributes that maybe you wouldn't before. So uh, think about that when you're when you're using your knife. Now, the XM24 has a larger, it's a larger knife, larger handle. And the larger handles really work well uh, when you got heavy gloves on. 
again if you can see that it fills out my hand really well it's very ergonomic and it's got enough blade especially for uh, a lot of the outdoor activities that you can be doing in the winter time there's plenty enough blade there to be able to do just about any chore um, you know that you want to put it to um, as in tent stakes so uh, so anyway Again, I just I wanted to show you guys that uh, you know, uh, being that I'm out here and I'm not in a nice warm, um, warm building. Um, however, my feet are starting to get cold. So, but anyway, so those are some of the things that I'm going to be talking about in the future. I'm going to get out here. You know, again, these knives that we all love and collect, first and foremost are born and bred as as utility tools outdoors and as well as obviously uh, fire police military but uh, a lot of them are doing the exact same thing again i was a firefighter for 10 years and a lot of my designs were born out of a lot of the things that i found on the fire department and in the future i'm going to start talking about them and how i incorporated them into the designs of my knives so anyway thanks a lot for joining me and uh, please check out my other videos as I, uh, as I keep bringing them forth. And um, hey, get out and have some fun.